Hey, hey, how's it going, guys? So, it's Zero One here. Hope you like my new profile picture. Uh, Shell comes. Uh, and today we're going to be playing some more Walking Dead. We're going to make this one a little longer than usual. Like, we regularly have it about 20 to 30 minutes. I think we're going to go for a 41 this time. Because I have quite a lot of storage. <laughs> and uh, I know I've, I've been noticing the watch time. I know not all of you watch it all the way through, so I'm going to make it longer because obviously that works, doesn't it? <laughs> anyway. So we left off with like two people coming over or something like that. But yeah, two people came over after we like, killed a zombie off of their captain. I don't know what's happening. <laughs> I forgot. Here we are. Back on the scene. Cool. Straight on with it. Who are those two anyway? It works. Me? Of course it works. I told you. Shit, where'd this string come from? Watch where you're walking, man. Who are those people? I don't know. Are they the raiders? Are they the people that raided your camp? I don't think so, but they all had their faces covered, so I don't know. Well, duh! <laughs> There's just two of them. We need to make a stand. No, we have a routine. We don't confront them if we don't have to. You all right? Yeah, just getting untangled. I don't know how you're still alive, man. Sorry, Lily. We gotta do this. That's far enough! Ooh. Oh, shit! Okay, okay. No they have a gasoline come. Are you armed? Yeah. For protection. Dead could be anywhere. Fair but, enough. Uh, I think you got the upper hand here. What do you need gas for? Our place is protected by an electric fence. Generators provide the electricity. Woo. Our generators run on gas. Look, we own a dairy farm a few miles up the road. If Y'all be willing to lower your guns. We we can talk about some kind of trade. How mm. y'all doing on food? We got plenty at the dairy. Sounds a bit like mani manipulation. Lee, why don't you and Mark check the place mm. out to see if it's legit? I'll go too. We can prove the numbers in case we run into anything dead. Yes, dog. So, uh, what do y'all think? Okay, we'll go to the dairy. We'll bring some gas to your dairy. You decided exchange, everyone you should go. Everyone? Bring back. No, I didn't. <laughs> See how it goes from there. Sounds fair. A couple gallons should power one of our generators for a while. Fair enough. Right. So, this dairy, you guys really have food? Sure do. We lost most of the cattle, but we still have lots of milk, butter, and cheese stocked up. Yeah, and yeah. with the vegetables we grow, we got plenty of Plus, food. I'm still wanting to find out where we are. In, in the store. Coming along, Doug. Sure. I'd like to get a look at that electric fence they talked about. It might give me some ideas for something I can rig up at the motor room. Can an electric fence really stop walkers? Well, as long as the walkers aren't completely dehydrated and the fence has enough juice, yeah, it seems plausible. Depends the on how strong it is, though, isn't it? It basically cooks you from the inside out, right? I guess so. So, if a walker stays in contact with the fence, it'll eventually cook its brain. Probably takes a while, though. And that can't be a good smell. Unless it smells like jerky. Ugh, have Do you have to compare it to that? That <laughs> <laughs> is one runaway train of thought. <sighs> Sorry. What's that you got there? Oh, nothing. It's just a laser pointer I picked up during our last trip to the drugstore. I mean, thank you God he showed up when he did. Right, Lee? Yeah, why don't you tell us a little more about yourself, Lee? What do you Where tell me you about from? yourself? Oh, here we go. Grew up in Mick. Right here in the heart of Georgia. That's what I like to hear. So we're in Georgia. Pretty settled in at that motor in. Look, who's Isn't running that things over there? Uh, we work as a group. All of us looking out for each other. I hear that. There's so many dumbasses out there fighting each other these days. Saint so John stupid. Brothers. How many people you got over there anyway? No, I don't want to change. Something. Enough to defend ourselves. Well, that's good. You let them know you're there. prepared to defend yourself. Well, you guys know. well, we'd love to get you all out to the dairy. Like I said, we got plenty of food, and quite frankly, we could always use an extra helping hand. In the summers, mm -hmm. I used to help out on a goat farm. Yeah, that's great. Everything helps. Mama's been running the dairy for well, as long as I can remember, but now it's. You think you're going to cut me out of this? Oh, who are these? No one's trying to cut you out of anything. You and Gary are always pulling this. Woo! Look like the people created oh, a camp. Oh, Fuck you. You knew we were hungry. 
And these are the Raiders. Do we have to go that way to the dairy farm? Oh! Yo, you gotta attract walkers, mate! Okay. I wonder if we're gonna end up fighting the Raiders. That'd be cool. <laughs> I mean, fighting that walker was a bit intense play. Wow. Okay. So we've got a group of Raiders to fight. Are they the enemies of this entire story? Hmm. Here it is. St. John Family Dairy. Another family to kill. Y'all can see how we kept this place so safe. They can even hear it. The fence keeps them out. <laughs> you betcha. They fry like bugs in a zapper. How much? We're pushing how much 4, you got? thousand volts through that thing with generators and amps. Oh, wow. Ah. You guys must know a thing or two about running wire. Had a guy who did, yeah. Who's she? Uh, have I... Ever have any accidents? Nah. It's safer here than out there. Wow, you've got enough electricity to run the whole place. Mm, I'm a bit edgy it's about these guys. Hence all the juice. I thought I saw y'all with company coming down the drive. Guys, this is our mom. I'm Brenda St. John, and welcome to the... I'm Brenda St. John. John. Okay. This here's Lee. He's from Macon. A couple of our old farm hands were from Macon. They grow up good things. Mm, sure. We got a few <laughs> more friends staying at the old motel. Oh my goodness, that place is pretty vulnerable. Have you got someone with survival experience to lead your group? Is that what they all think? We all work together, Matt. Plus, we've got plenty of people with military experience. Well, that's good to hear. That Do we? <laughs> now that y'all are here, we'll make sure you're safe and comfortable. There you go. We should want the food. For y'all, baked fresh this morning. Holy moly! Okay. Can't get stuff like that anymore. Not without a cow for milk and butter, that's for sure. That's right. Hopefully Maybell will make it through this bout of whatever she's got and be with us for a good long while. Your cow is sick? What's she? We have a vet, but we could bring her here. But we can help you folks out. I'm a bit a edgy vet? about this, guys. I'm oh, my. like real our edgy. prayers have been answered. Maybe our whole group could come for the day. Well, how about this? Y'all go get your veterinary friend, and I'll prepare some dinner. A big feast for all you hungry souls. It'll be nice to have some folks to help out around here again. Danny, why don't you come help me out in the kitchen? Danny is the most edgiest one for me. Food and round up everyone for the trip back here. Might want to take someone with you. Remember, those roads can be dangerous. No problem. Especially with those breaders and walkers now. Take this. All right. See you later. Well, I'm not going with him. Mark, Lee, why don't you take a look around? Once you get settled in, I could use some help securing the perimeter. Is there a problem? Sometimes the dead get tangled up in the fence before they fry and end up knocking over a post. It'd be a big help if you could walk the perimeter. You can learn a little something about our fence. I'm going to go top off the generators before they run dry. Go That's get funny me when you're ready. You betcha. This place is incredible. It's got food. That fence? Hmm. No, that fence. Oh, that fence. Oh, that fence. Before we can think about bringing our whole group here to stay, we need to figure out if this place is as safe as they're telling us. Right. Yeah. Obviously, they think it's safe. But is it safe enough for the kids? I noticed a broken swing over there. Not a big deal, but maybe there's other things. Can turn into a seesaw. And checking the fence perimeter sounds like a decent way to get a good look at their defenses. Alright, I'll keep my eyes open. You find out what you can from Andy. Andy. He's the one with the black t shirt, right? Okay then. Off on adventure we go. That's Andy there, isn't it? Yep, there it is. It. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> 
I'm glad you guys decided to help us out. I noticed back at the motel that you folks are pretty well armed. Been stockpiling, huh? You've scraped together a good supply in the last few months. How about yourselves? What kind of protection do you have around here? We collected a few guns to protect ourselves, but we you... really only use them. I think we're telling them too much. When we're inside the perimeter, the fence is all we need to keep us safe. An electric fence is enough to keep out walkers? Walkers? <laughs> is that what you call them? <laughs> That's good. Uh, the old one wouldn't have, but Mac, he was our foreman, he figured out how to amp it up with generators. We used to sit out here some nights and watch the sons of bitches on the runners? top when they got too close. Closest thing to entertainment these days, I guess. These generators are enough to power the whole dairy? We got lots. We gotta keep trading for fuel as much as we can, but they all work together to do the trick. Like us. I wanna know that. Are we, we your first guy? The first people who invited up to the dairy. Well, no, we've made similar deals with other folks, uh, trading for gas and food. Or Ultimately, they moved on, looking for the people they lost contact with. What do you mean? Hmm. Have they done so much of the motel? Oh, good. Fence will stop a walker in about three or four seconds, but it's overloaded if we leave the husks out there. You know, Mark and I can clear the fence ourselves if you want to stay here. Why there's a group of walkers there? Well, that well, effect tomorrow. Great. I'll turn one. off the northwest section, and uh, you guys could strip them off and look for any weak points. Well, that'd be a big help. Sounds easy enough. Stay attentive. You never know. Right. Hmm. So we're looking for weak points of the fence, How's are we? The place look? Is it safe enough for us to stay? It's pretty amazing what they've done with this dairy, but let's see what it takes to secure this fence before drawing any conclusions. I can't wait until everyone's out here. Everyone besides Larry. It wouldn't be such a <laughs> <pain in laughs> the ass if you were Shove his head into electric fence. Screw him. It was good waste of gasoline. Right. We'll work it out somehow. I'm gonna well, act nice. <laughs> <it'll calm> down. <laughs> Ew. There's one. It's dead. Come on, let's push it off. Grab that arrow first. Disgusting. Uh. Come on, I'm yeah. sure there's still a few more. Once this fence is patched up, this place will be a fortress. Can you imagine not having to worry about the walkers anymore? The fortress needs people to defend it. We've got enough people. So what's your take on the brothers? They seem to have this place tied down pretty well. These folks are just delaying the inevitable. This place is gonna fall apart. Just like everywhere else. Hey, the motor on. Unless they've There's done something, or the raiders have come. I see it. Ugh. Let's push it off. I think we might chop the fence by accident. Oh no, we're fine. You never get used to the smell, do you? <laughs> nope. Ah. Okay. Christ. I can't stop thinking about dinner. Thanks for the rations earlier. It's not easy eating in front of the kids, but it's all that's keeping me on my feet right now. Just try to focus on the task. They knew what they were doing, teasing us with food and then giving us chores. Yeah, fair and enough. Having a good meal will be worth it. Come on, I think I see where they're getting in. This one must have knocked it over trying to get through. He's tangled up in there pretty good. Come on, help me get this thing back in place so we can get Mr. Crispy off of here. I think we'd get better leverage from the other side. Good idea. <clears throat> they talk way too fast, then. If 
you're waiting for that guy to help, it ain't gonna happen. Come on. All right. Help. Top thing in it. Holy fuck! What just happened? The fences are on. Why the hell would he turn the fence on? He knows we're out here. Uh, oh! What? Get to the gate. Yo, the raiders! The raiders! I told you we are gonna fight them. Yo, that should turn out to be a big twist. Then I was I was too into the game. Yo! No idea. On that gate is our only way out. Oh god. What about that? Oh Jesus. Get down, get down. Okay, what can we do? That's on his side. Damn it! Whoa! We can get through this fence and back to the house. Quick, 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 Jesus! Man, you're wasting arrows at this point. I can't, I can't wait till the walkers go and eat them. Where are the walkers? I haven't actually seen them this entire episode. Oh, that's one. <laughs> one of the dead we pushed down earlier. Gonna have to move. Duh. Well, duh, that won't work, will it? Where's our food, you asshole? I don't know. <laughs> Get out of the open. Get out of the open. Get out Quick. Oh, Jesus! Right! Get him! Could you fall on him? Oh, you never learned, do you? Oh! Yo! Once we get back inside that farm, we are having a nice talk of Jesus Christ. Um, we have a problem. Leave it. Oh, Ooh, so they have rivals. Uh, I, I should want you to go get a snack. <laughs> I've got what's happened already. Lee, what's wrong? Do they not know? There was a goddamn ambush out there. Holy shit, are, are you okay? Bandits here on our property? Oh my lord, what happened to you, sweetheart? Was those bastards uh, a, in the woods? An arrow into his back, did you not I'll see? <laughs> God, what happened? He got shot with an arrow. Christ, are you gonna be okay? Yeah. <laughs> Christ. I should just pull it out. Oh no, honey, come on. Brenda's got you. Come on inside now. We'll have you all sorted out. Well, you must be the best. I kind of trust these guys. guys. This? We ran into some people on the way up here. Bandits, I guess. I think it was them that attacked us. They gave us a lot of problems in the beginning. Killed a bunch of our farmhands. We were able to get them to stop by making a deal. What you do about these people? Food for protection. Not like we had much of a choice, but they did stop hassling us. God damn it! Doug said this place was safe. So much for your deal. Those shitheads broke the agreement. Look, I'm sorry, Lee. If I had any inkling they were going to give you guys trouble, well, we would have gone out there with you. 
Listen, we may have had an agreement with those people, but we will not stand for this shit. Ain't no way we're gonna let those sons of bitches get away with this. You know where these assholes are? They're hard to pin down, but I think I know where at least one of their camps are. When you're ready to okay. go about that bandit camp, come find us. Are they all around this forest? Bandits? Are you serious? This place isn't safe. We can't stay here. Not safe? So they don't have weapons, though. They have bows and arrows. I think all of us and our guns can handle a couple of punks with bows and arrows. Yeah, there you go. What we need to do is find a way to get our whole group out here to stay. Take this place over if we have to. Whoa, cool your jets there, Rambo. These are nice people. Let's not do anything to get us thrown out before we eat. I'm gonna head out and help Dan deal with these bandits. You guys to try to make friends with Andy and Brenda while I'm That's the guy I don't trust. Well, that. that's easy. I got charm coming out of my ass. Yeah, that's real charming, Dad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Since Doug ate half the biscuits on the way to get us, I had them stay back. I still don't think we should be trying to stay here. Someone's got to watch the motor in until we get back. Fair enough. Catch us abandon it, can we? Hey, uh, I remember seeing kids in your group, so I went ahead and fixed that swing while you were out. Hope you kids like swings. A swing! I love swings! Just like at my treehouse! Come on, Doc! Why don't you kids go and play on the swing, huh? Yeah! Nice. Thanks. Anytime. We're looking out for you. I don't like the way they the put the story together, you know. You know, like, uh, oh, we've had some people here, but they all died. Then how come you guys haven't? How come not a single one of you guys have fallen yet? Hmm. Should we go inside? Probably should. Fellas, how you feeling, Lee? Look, I'm really sorry you almost got killed out there. Uh, we should have told you how dangerous it was. No shit. <laughs> Duh! <laughs> Nobody's safe here until we start to fight back. But how? The two of us should go out and do some recon. Then we'll all mount up for some revenge. Hell yeah. Who the fuck are these people in the woods? We don't know. I think some of them used to work at the big box up the way. Save lots. Yeah. Anyway, they're nutty as all hell and get mad when they're hungry. So are you ready to head out there and find their camp? Hell yeah. It'll be a good opportunity to find out a bit more about what we're up against. Let's do it. I'll stay here and hold down the fort. Oh, we're just okay. Just doing reconnaissance for now. No use getting Come bring killed. dog with us, or is he over at the motoring? I think the little girl wants to come. Okay then. Oh, don't trust. No, it's only me and him. No. I know it's oh, could we bring more people with us? Close. I feel like he's gonna like knock us out with that gun or something. Like shoot us. Because we're looking for raiders in different camps. Why are we only bringing two people? This is a bit stupid. Yeah. Oh, Ooh. shit. You found it? I don't know, maybe I'll, maybe I'll grow on this guy. I'm, I'm not sure. Depends how he turns out to be. <laughs> Sneak up on the camp. Will do. And we have an axe as well if they get up close. We have a melee weapon. Don't know about Dan though. You see anybody? Man, are you even looking in the scope? <laughs> it looks empty. Looks empty. I haven't seen anyone yet. Watch my back, Lee. I'm gonna check out the tent. Will do, and I'll probably put a bullet in there too. There's a hole ripped in the tent that you can see through. Just sniping through there. Yeah, see? Yeah, good old damn. Hmm. Someone is living there, though. This camp's too small. It can't be their main base. That's what I was thinking. Yeah, but it is they an apocalypse. Anyway. There's probably some shit around here they stole from us. 
Oh, they stole the kettle! Rude. Just water. Good, we'll need it. Are you really not taking that? Boy! I'm guessing... Yes, Look inside there! Are you telling me there's nothing? Well, depending on what the item is, I, I can't exactly see it. Empty. <sighs> what you found? Oh, yeah. Okay, okay. Looks like they expected to be here a while. So there's nothing, then? Tent looks pretty new. Anybody inside? Two sleeping bags. One of them's kid sized. Ooh, do you think maybe the taking kids to fight for them? That's pretty messed up, you know. Looks like they were moving a lot of stuff. Yeah. What's in the boxes? They're all from save lots. The first few days they told folks to gather to the save lots by the interstate. Anything worth taking? This is too much stuff for just one person. Trust me, these selfish bastards don't stop taking. Probably just to remind us that it's theirs. I think it's just like... Boxes from the dairy here. Probably the food we've been giving them. Fuckers cross the line. Ooh. Is that a radio? What? What'd you find? Camera. Video camera. Oh, is that on? Well, let me see that. Battery's dead, though. Oh, oh thank good. God. What else they got over here? Let's see if we can find anything useful. Yo, if that was on and they came all around the corner, ooh. I see you handled that gun I lent you pretty well. You a hunter? No, but Lily keeps us all on a regular trading schedule. Lily, huh? Sounds like she's running this democracy of yours. Mostly, I guess. Hmm, what else can we do? The gasoline can. Nothing but fumes. Shit. I think they're planning... Oh, don't look at the launcher. What's that? Looks like someone's been eating out of these recently. Very recently. Is there anything else we can find? We've already done all that. What? Is there anything new there? Huh. Maybe. Maybe we could find some batteries in the tent. Mark, oh, Dan, yeah, I get the name. <laughs> oh, ha! Shit. Yo! I, ain't going I knew this. You tell him Jolene ain't going back. Hey, we had they a took game. her out. No what? shooting as long as we gave you food. What the fuck happened? You had a deal with them. I'm there. Oh, I know you. I know what you are. And I know what you do. You don't know me. Steal my shit. Steal everything from me. We had a deal. You people broke it first. Who the fuck are you? <laughs> oh, you're insane. Look, it's not safe up here in the woods. You gotta come back to the dairy. <laughs> oh, it's a hell of a lot safer up here than down there, you best believe. Now, maybe you didn't hear me last time. When I asked you, sweet, put your damn guns down. You think I won't they have kill crossbows. you? I'm gonna take this here crossbow and put a nice sharp arrow right through your eyeball. Into your goddamn brain. You're not men. You're <clears throat> monsters. All men are monsters. Take what they want and then destroy it all. Take a can of beans. Take a little I wanna know that. What did she do with her hat? Where did you get this hat? The little girl. You stole it from her. 
So what if I did? You stole her from me. Oh my god, what? What the hell are you talking about? You know what? I changed my mind. I'm putting this arrow right through your balls. Yeah. No, that ain't apparent, is it? Up on that tree. Then I'm gonna head down to that farm and shoot every goddamn person I see. Put down the crossbow. No, sir, I need it. I needed to kill you fuckers. <laughs> oh my god. Tell him, boy. Tell him what you got in mind for oh. Oh, damn. God damn it. You straight up murdered that woman. Hardly. She had a crossbow pointed at my forehead. I don't trust these guys anymore. <sighs> it's a clean shot, though. Right through the forehead. That's I think we've just right lost there. a ton of detail. Still. That's why I didn't want to shoot her. So, that's it. We going back? If they ain't here, I don't know where they are. And it ain't a good idea to go tromping through the woods looking for them. So yeah, we head back. Once they see this, they'll get the message. I think we've just killed, like, that little girl's mum. Again, there was on, like, the holiday thing. What? Man. Come on. I don't know, maybe we'll find more out later. Hopefully we find the dad or something because there was a dad on the picture. So, hmm. Maybe there's still hope. Or maybe she would should be playing a game. It was like saying, ah, she was my daughter first. Ha uh, No. If that, if that actually was. That has just triggered me. Man, that was a hell of a ride, huh? Jesus, Danny. What? You ain't getting soft on Maria. Not after what they did to your friend. Not after You're what back. they said. What happened? Handled it, Mama. This isn't what Terry would have wanted. Terry? My husband. Miss him every day. Bet you killed then him. Screwed up for everybody then, why don't you? Oh, calm down, princess. I'll do it myself. Ooh, I feel like this is gonna be a bad time continuing. Squabbling looks like a lot of tension with y'all, huh? Yeah, you could say that. They don't exactly see eye to eye on how we should be doing things. <clears throat> well, it's probably just the hunger talking. And Lee, don't worry your head about them bandits. I'm sorry you've seen more violence than I'd have thought in your short time, but you all are safe here. Don't worry. Think I'll go have a look around. Don't wander too far. Dinner will be ready before you know it. And thank your friend Koch again for me. She and the kids are in the barn with the cow. That woman is a lifesaver. Hmm. Wait, but the story of contact. I still can't get over it, Mum. We shouldn't have killed her. Found your hat. Okay. Well, we need to get over to that barn then. Uh, can we even get over there? Yeah, we can. Cool. I seem to be getting really lucky of where I'm meant to be in these stories. Right, we can access something cool. Hello, Clementine. So everyone's in here, are they? Yo, oh, they are looking to have a cow. It's okay, why. Clementine. You can pet her. <laughs> you sure? <laughs> it's okay. Go ahead. Katya says Mabel could have a baby Ooh. tonight. We'll see, Clementine. What's that? What's this thing? Daddy said it's called a salt lick. Yeah, but don't lick it. It's gross. Did you lick it? I don't know. 
<laughs> I don't know. Well, let's talk to her, because this is the entire reason we came here. My hat! You found it! I don't know. <laughs> I knew you'd find it. You said you would. Listen, did you give your hat to anyone? No. Did you see any strangers around the border and who might have taken it? No. Why? It's probably nothing. Just let me know if you ever see anything like that. Okay, I will. Hey, Lee, do you think you'll ever have kids? Getting straight into that talk, are we? Well, um... I don't know. I haven't thought about having kids in a long time. Well, thanks for finding my hat. You're welcome, Claire. Do you want to pet the cow with me? Nah, but you go on ahead. Hmm. Alright, so we're going to end it there for this episode. I am literally going to continue on with the next uh, Walking Dead episode right now for me. So, I hope you enjoyed this episode of The Walking Dead. Leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next one. And I can't believe we actually found a rat.